This power supply consists of two independent power supplies, each can deliver 5 amps and 30 volts. We will explain only one of the supplies for now. Then we will explain how we can use those two supplies in parallel and in a series configuration. The knobs control the set voltage and current limit. Relative parameters are written on top of the knobs. By adjusting the voltage knob, you may set the desired operating voltage, which is when the current flowing through the circuit is below the current limit. Today, we will drive this DC brushed motor. This motor is rated at 12 volts. So, set the operating voltage to 12 volts as shown. To not overheat this motor, the current should not exceed 500 milliamperes. To set the current limit, connect the cables. As a convention, red indicates positive, and black indicates negative voltage. When we short these cables, the constant current LED immediately turns on indicating the current limit is active. We adjust the knob until we see 500 milliamperes. Then, break the short circuit. Since the current limit is not active, constant voltage LED is turned on again. As you can see, the motor draws about 150 milliamperes of current at 12 volts. But what happens if we load this motor and force it to draw more current? As you can see, the constant current LED is turned on, and the set voltage is dropped to the level where the motor can draw at most 500 milliamperes. When we release it, it works at constant voltage again. As mentioned before, the supply consists of two 5 amperes and 30 volts power supplies. By connecting them in parallel, we should get 10 amps and a 30 volt power supply. As shown on the device panel, when both push buttons are pushed, the power supplies work in a parallel configuration. The right one is called master and the left one is called a slave. In a parallel configuration, set voltage and current limit are adjusted using the master's knobs. Since the supplies are parallel, it does not matter which power supplies positive and negative terminals are used. We use the left one's terminals in this case. When we short them, we can draw about 11 amperes of current which were not possible in the independent configuration. Now we will configure those 5 amperes 30 volt power supplies in series to have 5 amperes and 60 volt power supply. Similar to parallel configuration, set voltage is adjusted using the master's knob. As shown on the device panel, push the left push button and free the right push button. Slave's voltage is the negative mirror of the master's voltage. But which terminals should we use in this case? If you are confused or struggling, you may use a voltmeter as we do. As you can see, the voltage between the far left and right terminals are 60 volts, and the voltage between the same power supplies negative and positive terminals are 30 volts. Many are afraid of electric shock while using power supplies. And, they should be since electrical injuries may result in death. Yet, the absolute maximum voltage this power supply can offer is 60 volt DC. Such voltage levels do not harm people when touched with dry hands. 
Thus even though touching power cables should be avoided as much as possible considering device malfunctioning, this power supply can be considered safe. Check the video description for future reading.